What's up, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be taking out my very first pop that I ever bought. And this pop was bought back in 2013 before I knew what a Funko Pop even was. I just thought it looked cool. So, here is my very first pop that I bought way back in 2013. You can even, how do I know? Because the date's right there. August 17th, 2013 is when this uh, was released. Obviously, I got it around that time. <laughs> Go figure. But this was my very first pop that I bought. Quick story behind it is, so for those of you that don't live in California, out here we have these things called swap meets every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, some are free, some to get paid in. What a swap meet is, basically, it's like thrift shopping. Only it's, uh, it's most of them are outside. And basically a bunch of people, you know, set up their booths, tables, you know, and they sell everything. You can find video games, the even Funko Pops now, even back then, you know, on the rare occasion back then. Uh, clothes, games, pops, toys, everything and everything you could find in a swap meet is basically there. And it's only on the weekends here in California. I'm not sure if other uh, states have it, something like this, uh, but yeah. So... I am going to take this out for the very first time. So since 2013, it's almost been five years this thing has been in its box and in, you know, in a pop stack for a few years because for a while it just, it just, I had it sitting on my shelf before I, I didn't start getting into it till about 2015, like really, really into collecting. So yeah, take this bad boy out. Here we are, here he is out of the stack, as you can see, number 18 in Marvel. This is definitely a uh, an old one. And you see the original set, Doctor Doom, Deadpool, Beast, Dark Phoenix, and Silver Surfer. And I know a lot of these haven't gone up in price. I know Doctor Doom is like 100, 120 bucks, probably something like that. So yeah, let's get him uh, out, shall we? Mm see what he looks like out of the box this is a first for me trust me i'm even scared opening it even though i have my way of doing it without i know i'm not going to damage it but uh yeah you know i'm still scared of like what if i d damage the box or mess up a flap or something but i know i'm not gonna do that i'm pretty uh i'm pretty safe i'd imagine so there we go Let's see if we can get this guy out for all these years he's been stuck in his little box hey and for the first time in almost five years my pop is out of box so as you know with Marvel they are bobbleheads I'm not gonna do it too gentle I don't want to do it too rough I'm scared if the head's gonna fall off or something like that but yeah wow this is actually one of the few pops I think today that still hold as far as design wise because the the original pops you know from 2013 2014 etc aren't really uh weren't, weren't really like you know are they are how they are now how there's so much detail and stuff like that a lot of them were built basic um but there are the rare occasions of like the ghost rider and stuff well he had he does have some paint scuffs then again this is an old pop that i am taking out so i expect there to be a lot of odd things like here definitely uh some weird paint happening up here on his head oh yeah this is definitely not the not the best <laughs> from uh from funko uh, i can definitely see the paint has gotten a lot better too even though they still do um you know some uh bad paint jobs here here and again but uh yeah the paint has gotten pretty pretty good and as you can see it is a real pop if you must know there is their little stamp on their foot so yes this was my very first pop way back in 2013 and i'm actually pretty impressed with this the uh the weapon actually is like it feels like it would break it's like a weird very very fragile plastic or something like that i don't know how to explain this thing feels 
you know, like if I dropped it or something, it would break. But uh, the design overall, I really like. Um, the paint job, you know, definitely around the head, the paint job is pretty bad. <laughs> then again, like I said, this is this is a long time ago, so it wasn't Funko wasn't what it was, you know, then as it is now, or it's they have more money involved and stuff like that. But yeah, this is crazy taking this guy out. I mean, this is like a hundred and hundred and twenty dollar pop that I literally took out of its box. So yeah, if you all want to know how much I really paid for him, I back then, two thousand and thirteen, the swap meet that I got him from, they had a deal of three for I think it was thirty dollars. So I paid ten dollars for this guy back then, and now he's you know the price that he is which I would never pay for for a pop unless I bought it for its normal price so I am so glad that I got this guy when I did and that he was basically my first pop so yeah that is awesome anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video of me opening this because it was kind of scary a little bit I'm gonna laugh I was a little scared I was like man what if I mess up the box or something but uh hope you guys enjoyed it and uh thanks for watching